Hi, welcome back. Good to see you again. This video is about spelling. So if you constantly misspell words, then you're not doing it right. So give me five minutes and I'll show you how to spell like a professor. Okay, so we have three main representational systems. You have visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. Uh, there's a posture which goes with each. So when people access their visual sense, they tend to look up and or otherwise straight ahead and defocus. If the brain hemispheres are normally organized for a right-handed person, then they will tend to look up and to the left to access visual memory, and look up and to the right to construct uh, images. Uh, they will tend to look to the left to access auditory memory and look to the right to imagine what something might sound like or what a conversation might sound like. And then look down left for uh, internal dialogue and down right when um, to access feelings. We want to feel things out. Just generalizations. Right? But next time you watch someone on your favorite internet channel, just watch what they do with their eyes, body posture, and gestures in respect to the types of words that they're using. When I say types of words, I mean like predicates, visual, auditory, and kinesthetic predicates, or words which indicate those representational systems. Now, accurate and consistent spelling requires you to use your, your visual representational system. If you're using your auditory system to sound a word out, it's not going to work. For example, try sounding out a word like phonetics. You know, phonetics, it doesn't work. And then there are those who uh, perhaps try and feel out a word. Believe me, that is not going to work. So uh, personality type, body type, and culture influence how you think. But the good news is that you can train yourself to spell any word and spell it correctly every time. So how do we do that? We use a visual strategy. Take a simple word like cat. So first off, using a dictionary, get the correct spelling of the word and you write it down. C-A-T, cat. Look at the word and one letter at a time, imagine that you are painting the word high up on the wall in front of you. You can imagine that you're using a, you know, a brush, or you know, spray can or crayon. You could be photoshopping it. I may help to paint the word in a bright color like red paint. See the paint just dribbling down the wall, you know? Um, it scares you a little bit, just change it to black paint. The idea is to use your visual imagination to paint an image in your mind that is graphic. Now put your first piece of paper away Take a clean piece of paper and look up to where you painted that word in your mind and copy it down. Don't talk to yourself about it. You don't need to engage the auditory system. In fact, that may have been the problem. Instead, just look up and see the word cat that you painted on the wall. See it as a picture and copy it down onto paper. Now compare what you have on the paper to what you painted in your mind. Looks right. Are they the same? That's a visual check. If the images are the same, the word will look right. When it looks right, it will feel right. Now check the spelling of your word with the um, Spelling in the dictionary. Are they the same? Yes, they are. <laughs> so you're doing a visual comparison. It's nothing to do with how the word sounds or feels. It's a problem with people who, you know, have spelling difficulty, dyslexic and that sort of stuff. They're just using the wrong rep system. So if they differ, then you need to take another look at the correct spelling. Paint it in your mind once again. You know, copy it down onto paper, then check your spelling against the word in the dictionary. 
When you get uh, longer words, say like psychology, then you can chuck the word visually into two or three bits. So you get like psychology. But you've got to be real careful about chunking in the syllables because as soon as you start chunking in the syllables, you'll you know, start sounding the word out like psychology, whatever. It's just like, what the heck, you know? That's not how you do it. It's a visual task. So the representational sequence for spelling is visual, supported by auditory, and then there's the kinesthetic check, which comes off the picture. And so after a while, you should find that you automatically spell check words. And if words don't look right, um, that is, they don't look like the image that you have in mind, then it won't feel right. And you should feel compelled to correct the misspelling. Myself, when I'm out in the street and I see, I read signs and posters and all that sort of stuff, if a word is misspelled or there's incorrect grammar, it feels really uncomfortable. And um, I think there should be a law against misspelling in public. So good spellers, they'll, they'll tend to spell check as they write, while poor spellers will put that off to later. Now maybe there's an upside and a downside for that because you'll get some writers will say, just write the article, just write it, write it, write it, write it. So they stay focused on the writing. Um, and they leave the spell check to last. Uh, for me, I just, I just can't do that. I'm writing. And as, I, as you write, you write, you go back over it. If the words don't look right, correct it. I think it's really important to do that, especially if you want to spell like a professor. Don't rely upon your spell check. You have to, because, you know. Anyway, so which are you going to be? Are you going to be the person who uh, sees a word, corrects it, or are you going to put it off to later? So if you like this video, please like and share with your friends and I'll talk to you soon. And let me know how the spelling strategy works for you. See ya.